Welcome, everyone. Prepare yourselves for an exhilarating adventure. In today's video, I've got an incredible trick to reveal that will revolutionize your gaming experience. And guess what? You won't even need to root your device to use Game Guardian. That's right, it's like magic. Whether you're using the latest Android versions, like 12 or 13, this trick will work flawlessly. So get comfortable, sit back, and prepare for a mind blowing journey. Make sure you watch the entire video because every second is packed with game-changing information that you don't want to miss. Now, let's dive into the trick. Open any browser. In this demonstration, I'm using the Chrome browser. Once you're in, locate the search box and enter lootandlearn.com slash f1vm or simply click on the link provided in the video's description. Click on the Go to the Download Page button. Scroll down the page until you find the download button. Click on the download button. This is the official website of F1VM. Download the F1VM from here. Please wait for the download to complete. Once the download is finished, proceed with installing the F1VM. Enable the installation of apps from unknown sources. Now install it. After installation, close your browser and open the F1 VM. Grant all required permissions. First startup takes 2 to 5 minutes, so wait for it to complete. Go to settings located on the bottom right corner. Scroll down, locate the mount phone SD card option and activate it. Then close the settings menu. Let's proceed with downloading and installing Game Guardian. First, open the browser app in your VM environment. Enter Game Guardian in the search box and initiate the search. Locate and access the official website of Game Guardian. Scroll down the page until you find the Download This File button. Click on it and agree to the terms and conditions for the download to begin. Ensure that you download the GameGuardian.apk file. Wait for the download to complete. Once the download finishes, proceed with the installation. After installation, launch the Game Guardian application. Select the option for hack 6 to 4 bit games in 6 to 4 bit virtual space. When prompted with the message Game Guardian launched in virtual space, select No. It is important to choose No to ensure that your game appears in Game Guardian's process list. Afterward, install the additional Game Guardian components as required. Now, locate the Start button situated in the lower right corner and click on it. This action will cause a floating Game Guardian window to appear on the screen. To demonstrate its functionality, I'm going to add a game to the VM environment. Now, I am opening the selected game. Click on the floating Game Guardian icon. 
You can see that Game Guardian operates smoothly without encountering any errors. If you encounter any issues, be sure to check out the video description for troubleshooting tips. In a future video, I will demonstrate how to utilize Game Guardian to locate and modify in game currency codes according to your requirements. If you are viewing this video a few days later, you can find the link in the description. Additionally, make sure to subscribe for further updates. Thanks for watching.